Hello there and welcome to this video where we take a look at Arc Raiders on Linux and Windows using the RX9070 XT um, and we're using a 14700K Intel CPU and I've been having an absolute blast with this game so I think it's fantastic. Um, it, it's the perfect game for someone who usually hates multiplayer and especially extraction shooters. Now I did initially have some issues with the 14700K, okay, the usual Intel type issues with e-cores and um, you know, performance mode and all those kind of things. And uh, before I fixed those issues, you can see here it's very, very stuttery. Um, not a smooth experience at all. And uh, when I did fix it, you can see here a huge difference. The GPU is now pegged at 100% usage. And while not perfect, uh, the 1% lows are a lot better, inching up towards the minimum 60 FPS that I would like for my 1% lows. At 60, I think you have a good, smooth experience. Now, moving on to the side-by-sides with Linux and Windows, you'll see all the settings on the, the, the left-hand side there for Linux with uh, kernel, Mesa drivers, etc., and the Windows version. Now, at the native, absolute maxed out 4K settings, epic everything, then you'll see there's not a lot between them in terms of the overall FPS. Now, Windows does look a bit smoother, and what I found is that the lower the resolution is, the, the, the smoother Linux gets. Um, now, Windows is quite playable, I would say. It's, it's close to 60. Uh, Linux, maybe I'd hesitate to use it at these settings. Um, but definitely, even on both, I would, I would definitely uh, change the settings to something like this with FSR quality. And I'm using the FSR 4 override here. Um, so FSR quality, everything else maxed out, is now becoming very, very playable. And you can see on uh, Cache OS here, the 1% the lows are getting close to that 60, 60 that I would like. Um, I, w I would say this is still acceptable though. Um, Windows a little bit smoother, but the, the overall frame rate very, very similar. Um, very playable on both. And when we switch now in a second to um, a lower preset, so I'm using medium RTX GI, uh, global illumination and the, and the high preset, um, then you can see here, now it's not exactly apples to apples here, the scenery is different, different geometry, different lighting, etc. Um, as the scene moves on towards, uh, you know, on, on Windows, I, I tend I move more outside, then it becomes very similar. So I'd say I wouldn't judge the, the overall FPS here um, by this footage. I would say they're actually quite similar. And in both cases, they're easily over 100. Um, uh, again, a little bit smoother on Windows, but uh, now moving on to even lower settings that I would say are kind of the, the minimum I would play with if I want to get the the frame rate up towards something like 144 hertz if you've got 144 hertz 4k monitor for example then fsr balanced um, with low gi and the medium preset still looks quite good and now you're getting into the sort of mid 100s here you're getting 130 140 150 so if you've got 144 hertz um, this is going to be uh, possibly the setting for you you're going to have a, a, a very smooth experience and um, when we move on to actually 1440p, we'll see that um, Linux actually performs even better than it does at 4K resolution. So here, 1440p FSR quality, um, high GI and high preset, you'll see there's very little between them. They're both more or less maxing out a 165 hertz monitor. So if you've got a 140 or 165 hertz 1440p monitor, these could be the settings for you, you'll have an, an excellent experience. Um, so you could just lock it or v-sync it to 165. Um, and then native AA, so the native resolution using FSR. Um, max settings, Epic GI, Epic preset. Um, you can see here Linux is absolutely buttery smooth. Um, approaching 100 FPS, 84, and of those even beating Windows. So that's very, very impressive. That does, that's a, a great experience maxing out to another 1440p. So, um, overall, whether you're using Linux or Windows, you're going to have an excellent experience if you compromise a little bit on the, the internal res rendering resolution. Um, on the 9070XT, definitely a 4K experience there. Um, FSR quality or even FSR balanced, you'll get a, a high refresh rate if you want and uh, a 1440p monitor you could max it out or just drop the resolution a bit. Now 
I do recommend locking your frame rate or using V-Sync and you'll get a, uh, the 1% the lows will come right up. Okay, for whatever, whatever the, the internal reason for that is, um, you can see here the 1% the lows are almost the same as the overall average FPS. Um, so you can see here on Cache OS, absolutely buttery smooth. So that's all the footage I have and um, overall impressions of the game are absolutely excellent. This, I, I don't know what it is about the game, it's, I, th I think it's a series of factors. The look of it, the aesthetic, um, the sound design is, is superb. You know, listening to stuff off in the distance, um, the rain, the you know the, the distant uh, sounds of the the various arc robots, the NPCs, all top notch. Um, I mean, the graphics aren't using all of the latest features, but the graphic design um, is fantastic. Um, the textures aren't you know four K quality or anything, but the game does look superb and. Uh, it's got a certain kind of aesthetic around it. It gives me the chills when I see those uh, coloured lines. I start thinking about Atari and Commodore 64. Um, and I'm getting kind of, um, you know, Empire Strikes Back's uh, vibes with the the people living underground with the the equipment and the clothing and all of that. It, it just gives me those kind of vibes. Um, definitely at least 9 out of 10 for me. It could push 10 out of 10. Um, I do love the fact that playing solo that people are, as you saw from the footage there, I was able to extract myself with strangers who just call out, you know, friendly or don't shoot or, you know, tell you that, you know, ask you, do you want to cooperate against uh, uh, the AI or whatever? Um, a great experience if you're solo. Um, I, I've even managed to convince my son, who normally plays Minecraft and Gmod, he actually is, I, I bought a license for the game for him. And the two of us have gone on a couple of raids and uh, heart pumping stuff. The two of us getting out, extracting it by the skin of our teeth, having a fantastic time. Um, highly recommend it. Um, I I'm, can't wait to see what future content they bring. Um, and I can't wait to see how they monetize it as well. Because, uh, you know, for, for me, as a person who doesn't like most multiplayer games and certainly has never enjoyed any extraction shooters or even tried them, to be honest... Um, then, you know, I, I can't wait to see what the future brings for this game. Um, and hopefully it, it remains as popular it has, as it has been with, you know, 350,000 concurrent users at times. So um, highly recommended on Linux, Windows, whatever platform you're on. Um, I will try out more graphics cards. Um, I'll try out the RX 580, which is listed as the one of the minimum GPUs. So I'm definitely going to try that out and... An NVIDIA card as well, probably the 4070 Super. Um, so that's all to come. I might even consider live streaming from a Linux PC. And, uh, you know, we, we'll go down through the settings and have a bit of fun, if, if you're interested in that. And, um, yeah, many other videos to come as well. It's it's uh, It's been about three months since my last video. I, I took a little break due, due to work reasons, but uh, I'm going to start... Uh, slowly but surely building up the content and uh, um, start in engaging with you all again. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.